Hey Taurus, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings, and I'm coming in with part two of um, your reading for May 20th. It got big and deep fast, Taurus, in that other reading, so look for the link if you didn't see um, part one, because you will probably want to. There's some kind of big situation here, and I know, um, you know, I'm not an astrologer. I'm a psychic medium, read tarot cards, obviously. Um, an astrologer could tell you all the planets and stuff that are driving this, but I feel it when I read, and what I'm feeling is something really big's happening around Taurus right now. It's really driving the energy and making the energy very excitable and making people around you really act out and come after you in some cases, and things are really stirred up. And where I left off in the other reading is where is this whole thing going? Because clearly there's been some sort of injustice committed against Taurus. Something potentially legal. And this, per this particular week of May 20th, I'm seeing your big challenge this week is the Eight of Swords, which is feeling like you are dealing with some sort of really oppressive situation. So I want to know where this is going for you, Taurus. What is happening? There's a lot more clarification in the first reading, but I wanted to see where this is going. Hmm. Okay, so I got the goosebumps. So I'm, um, that's me tuning in. <laughs> goosebumps, okay. So the Empress is not happy. This is representing you, Taurus. Um, really a lot of unhappiness and feeling like you're going to change course. This is you feeling like, okay, I like, I've had enough of this. I'm not doing this anymore. Um, you know, I might have been going this direction. Now I'm going this direction. Had enough. And the Empress is very decisive about things. You know, the Empress has had enough of King of Pentacles and Queen of Cups who were sneaky energies going into the past that caused Taurus to be carrying a very heavy load of either responsibility or money or something like that. Your, um, I think what caused this problem for you was this Queen of Wands and fire energy and also could be King of Wands. You know, take it as it resonates for you and your particular situation in a collective reading like this. Usually Queen of Cups, not always, can't, whoops, I dropped her in the floor. She jumped off the table. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> um, Queen of Cups can be a water sign, but we've also got this fire sign energy. Some of you are feeling very alone, but very self-sufficient at this time, and you might be dealing this week with this Queen of Swords energy, who is a real witch with a B. Okay, and. You're still waiting on your new opportunities. You're waiting on your ships to come in this week, Taurus. And I feel frustration around all of this. There are a lot of people interfering with your life at this time. A lot of people interfering. What is this heavy load that Taurus is carrying? And I'm going to clarify some of these other people as well. Your heavy load. Yeah, you keep waiting for new opportunities. That's come up three or four times now. It's like, where are the opportunities? Where are the opportunities coming in? Four of Cups and a lot of discontent that keeps coming up. A lot of toxic energy with this devil card. Your person, Taurus, who is the King of Pentacles, who's going into the past, who is, looks like was in cahoots with um, the Queen of Cups that I dropped on the floor, um, could have been a Capricorn. This is not always Capricorn energy, but it can be. And so can King of Pentacles, you know, the Earth sign energy. But there was definitely some toxic energy going on here. Uh, codependency, um, demonic attachments, which I mentioned earlier with that Seven of Swords energy that came up. Ooh, and a tower. Tower next to devil. Terrible energy. Terrible, terrible energy that you're dealing with. No wonder you are feeling this oppressed. This is an oppressive situation. Taurus, this is an oppressive situation. Whew, okay. Who's your nice King of Cups? He came up in the first reading, King of Cups. Let's see who. Who is King of Cups? Such a nice water sign energy. Good listener. Somebody with healing energy. Um, often a water sign, you know, Pisces, um, Cancer, Scorpio, but not always. Not always, but could be. Page of Cups. Clarifying King of Cups. 
could be a father and he has children. Here's a Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is somebody who's a father because children are showing up. Like he has children or he's helping you with his chil with your children or um, like I said, really good guy. Here's the chariot coming up. Like he's coming, speeding in to help you out. There's, there's fast energy here. Something about things moving fast. And he's very significant this week, Taurus, for you. This King of Cups. Very significant in helping with children or teaching. He could be a teacher. He could be a professor. Um, he could be involved with schools. He could be like a school counselor, for instance. That sort of thing. And there might be a real attraction between you and him, potentially, for some of you, with this Ace of Cups energy. And I did feel a romantic energy there when I first pulled it. Um, but yeah, that's how he's involved with you, and he's being very generous. I get a real generosity, like he's a gift from the universe for you, Taurus. So in the midst of all this drama I'm seeing going on, yeah, and he sees you as this very grounded Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like this could be you and him for some of you. And there's definitely generosity, attraction, helpfulness. Like he may be helping you keep things on track. And there's definitely um, like two cards that represent children here around him. You know, schools, children, that sort of thing. And there's also um, this feeling of discontent and waiting for your ships to come in okay so let's move on to who is um who's this i he's the one i said i think is an attorney maybe connected legally in some way not very emotional you know the king of cups deals with emotions and the king of swords deals with more of the intellect so Oh, King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So they're either a couple or they're going to be helpful in some way or it's representing, you know, could be one or the other of them. Here's King of Cups again. King of Cups may know this guy, King of Swords. These two may work together in some way. I just heard law enforcement. And I would say that would go more to your swords guy, law enforcement of some sort. Both of them being very helpful to you, Taurus, this week. Let's see what else. I did hear law enforcement. That's not always the, um, you know, it's not the exact meaning of King of Swords, but that is definitely what I'm hearing right now. Knight of Swords, too. Yeah, I said this earlier. These people are come rushing in to help you. This is a fast moving energy. I feel like something's gonna speed up this week. You might speed up, go through this trouble spot, and then you're done with it. Here's, yeah, Eight of Swords reversed, meaning that you're gonna get out of that oppressive situation that I saw earlier, okay? because these people are helping you for sure. And here's the emperor again. Now the emperor came up reversed this time and he also came up next to the king of pentacles who's going into your past. I hope you're following all this, this is so complicated. If it's your story, you'll be following it because it's your story. You know who, who these people are and how they fit. Um, the emperor came up reversed this time though. He's gonna be mad. Taurus. I'm just going to tell you, this guy's going to be pissed off because you're getting help and he doesn't want you to get help. Whoever this emperor is in this case, now the emperor is not a bad person ordinarily, but I feel a father energy with him too. He's very controlling. He may build things um, and he may be very angry this week. I'm just going to warn you. Very, very angry this week. What does Taurus... What does Taurus need to know? I'm going to do a little more clarification, then I'm going to switch decks, okay? You need to know you might be dealing with a narcissist. This page of cups keeps coming up reversed. Somebody's playing you, Taurus. Somebody's playing you. Somebody's not being fair. Somebody's being childish and immature. Yeah, they're messing with you. And believe it or not, it actually could be another Taurus who's messing with you, Taurus, okay? 
you know, the strong astrological energy that's going on right now is really affecting Taurus at the moment. Some of you who do astrology, you'll, you'll know why that is. I don't know, but I feel it. Taurus to Taurus clashing. Bulls, bulls, bullfights. You know, bullfights clashing with each other. Whew, yeah, and it's over money. It's over fortune. It's over money. That's what the clashing is. I almost like see these two bulls like running at each other and going, you know, like, um, yeah, wow. Somebody has betrayed you, Taurus, because the Five of Cups came up. So this is a really big betrayal. What is up with, let's ask more about this. Um, if, is this a legal situation? Let me ask, because this came up representing your energy how other people are seeing you reversed like somebody has treated you um unjustly you know justice reversed is it's an unjust situation what why is that what happened there the hermit the hermit keeps coming up can be virgo energy for some of you um It, okay, here's what I'm hearing, Taurus, is because you shined a light on this injustice and it backfired on you temporarily. It's almost like you you point, you point shone a light on somebody. You're like, hey, that's not right. And somebody came back at you in an unfair way. Here's the sun. Some of this is um, being amplified because of these solar flares. It's making people crazy, <laughs> okay? It's, literally, that's what I'm hearing. And I, I'm not even kidding about that. The solar flares are bringing out the worst in people who have not bothered to upgrade. I mean, it's kind of making everybody tense and things like that. But especially people who are not doing their spiritual, spiritual work and they're not upgrading and they're not working out their karma and they're not, you know, cleaning up their energy or whatever they need to do. It's really making them act out. And so spiritual people tend to shine a light on that sort of toxic energy you don't even mean to I mean it's not like you're out there trying to do it it just happens because you're if you're a spiritual person and you're putting out a lot of light you can't help but shine a light on toxic energy which is exactly what I'm seeing with this hermit that's a whole lot of what's happened here Taurus if that makes sense Death card. Really big transition happening here on multiple levels. Multiple levels. And you dealt with the lover's card. So the injustice was a couple things. Somebody made a bad choice of some sort or somebody got involved with somebody else. Your partner, like the King of Pentacles and Queen of Cups, got involved. Um, it hurt your marriage and that sort of thing. Um, you know, often the lover's card is a third party, you know, love triangle kind of situation. And it caused the ending of something. Yeah, caused, caused the ending with you. Here you are again, Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. So take it as it resonates. You could reverse those roles, okay? Because it is a collective reading. So please take it as it resonates and part, you know, not every part of every reading and every card fit every person you know that so take what resonates here because i know they're covering a lot this is huge this is a huge reading that i had to divide into two parts because there's so many people and so much going on i couldn't get it all in one reading without making it too long to upload <laughs> okay so let me see what else taurus um what is this King of Swords and King of Cups? What are they going to do for you? Let's ask, because they look really helpful this week. Some of you, Taurus, <clears throat> some of you are having an intense week this week, okay? And if that's your reading, you're probably already prepared for it. What's up with King of Swords and King of Cups? They're helping you with whatever this betrayal was that you went through. They're helping to fix this injustice. They're, they're making you have a strong backing. These are strong people shown in the strength card, potentially a Leo as well. And of course, Leos are fire signs. 
here's the hermit again. So those two people, the swords and the cups people, all right, are helping you continue to shine a light on this toxic energy. Yeah, because there was a situation of the lovers. There was a situation there of a love triangle for some of you. Now keep in mind, love triangle often does go to the obvious lovers. It can also go to job situations where somebody cut in on your promotion, for instance, just as an example, okay, and hurt your money. Because I am seeing Taurus feeling like they're carrying a very heavy financial load at this time. Yeah, and having to take a new path. But also, somebody was very foolish in this picture. I, and I said that earlier. Whoever was trying to steal something from you, Taurus, was pretty stupid. They're not a smart person. They're not somebody all cunning and um, smartly manipulative. You know, um, you know, some people are like that. This person is reckless. This person is doing stupid things and just causing a lot of trouble being reckless. And this can also be connected to um, like people around animals. I, I don't know why I'm picking that up, but with the dog on this card, that hound dog catches my attention, almost like there was somebody who did something to your dog, maybe, or somebody who works with dogs or somebody that didn't like your dog. I don't know. Let me see. Let me follow up on that. This took a whole twist here, but let's see. Somebody's healing from what this person did. I would say that to you. There's healing going on or the dog. And here's the reverse star. Whoever this was did not get what they wanted. They failed. I, I get they failed at whatever game they were playing with you. It didn't go their way. It was somebody very mature with a page of pentacles energy. And they were trying to get money and I feel like they are failing at that too. They may still be trying to do that at this time. Magician, I said this earlier reading, there may be, there may be spell work or somebody who's just bad at what they do because they're, they're dumb, <laughs> you know. And here's Knight of Swords again. Yeah, this whole situation is rushing in and rushing out again. It's like it happened fast, then it goes away fast too. How does this turn out for Taurus? Let's um, let's go over to these tea leaf cards and final words here for Taurus. If you're still watching at this point, thanks. This got really involved, but if this is your story, I know you want answers. So this was somebody really underhanded, not too bright and um, somebody you need to watch out for, but you're also getting a lot of help here, okay? Just to summarize, okay, scales, um, keeping your life in balance. Yeah, we did see the upside down justice scales earlier around you. So be careful to remain in balance as much as you can. And you know, Taurus, you guys are very grounded, so you can do that, but you know, this, this would be hard for anybody, Taurus or not. Um, someone will try to make you do something against your will. Yeah. Yeah, I would say it's the Emperor, it's the Queen of Cups, it's the King of Pentacles. Yeah. Here's a bouquet. You're going to get compliments from an admirer. <laughs> That's probably your King of Cups. The one that I said I felt an attraction kind of building there. Here's a firecracker. Excitement. Wow, I said this earlier. There's something astrologically going on that's causing a lot of excitement around Taurus, and it's good or bad excitement, okay? And causing people to act out. It's causing just, yeah, like these firecrackers going off in your energy, which may be affecting people around you, maybe drawing things to you, good, good or bad. You know, either way, it can work all sorts of ways for different people. There may be family sorrow, shown with this weeping willow tree. You know, if, if children are involved in this or your pets, like I saw earlier, um, definitely could be causing a lot of sadness. All right, let's see what's happening in this part of the deck and then um, final words. What else does Taurus 
need to those. I'm trying to come out there. What else does Taurus need to know? Oh, happiness. There's going to be happiness. Anything else? That's the feather. Now, this card, <clears throat> this feather card, I always think of angels, and I always see angels around Taurus. So I think this is an angel card, but the actual card says someone you know is undependable and insincere. So take it as it resonates for you. I'm going to go with angels, okay? And here's the dagger. Fear worries in a tense situation. Yeah, because somebody's trying to stab you in the back. Not literally, but I'm not getting literally, but somebody's trying to mess with you. There's something about the month of November. Now I have to clarify that. <laughs> Lots of happiness coming in. Why did they give us November? Is this person connected? You know, it makes me think they could be like Scorpio or um, Sagittarius with November. But what else do they want you to know about that? The moon. <clears throat> November. Yeah, you're getting some sort of resolution from this between now and November. Yeah, for some of you, it could take that long. You know, what's that, like six months out or something. Um, yeah, you've got the moon. There's going to be some more deception to deal with here in this Nine of Wands energy. Now, this particular Nine of Wands is a rescue. It's you getting rescued from something, having strength and reserve. And I saw that earlier with that um, card of the lion, the strength card, where somebody's helping you. Somebody's making you stronger, Taurus, than you even already are because, you know, there's strength in numbers, as they say. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, all in all, Taurus, um, this is going to go in your favor, but I think you're in for some sort of a battle this week. I'm just going to be honest. There's a lot of energy going on here. <clears throat> Not all of it happy, because I see this Four of Cups has come up a whole bunch of times around you. Like, this is the card of feeling kind of discontent, because you want this to resolve. So... Hang in there. Be patient. I know you guys are really good at patience <laughs> for the most part, you know, as much as anybody can be patient in this situation. So I think this is going to definitely play out in your favor because there's happiness showing up. The sun is showing up here and this will get resolved. So we'll keep an eye on it, Taurus. I hope part two is helpful. Let me know in the comments. Okay. See you guys. Bye.